stand by for an important announcement. Hi, John here for AIM Gun Lube. I am in beautiful San Diego. I'm at the heart of the action in San Diego, actually, the gun range on Balboa. I'm talking with Joe here. Joe, uh, how long has the gun range been around? We just had our two-year anniversary this past November. Okay, and you've already outgrown this location, according to Chad. Well, Are you looking at another site? We are looking at maybe doing uh, another site, not leaving this one, but maybe adding, adding, a, sec another, adding yeah. a second site. Uh, but I got to tell you, it's, it's better to have people waiting to shoot than it is to have empty lanes. True. So we, we, we like our location, we love our customers, and uh, being right here centrally located and right in the heart of San Diego helps out. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Well, you've been helping us out because about eight <laughs> months ago, I walked in and I said to Chad, hey, would you like to try out this stuff here? The aim loop. The aim loop. And uh, let's hold that up for the camera yeah, there. There you go. There, there you go. Uh, and he goes, yeah, we're always looking for, you know, see if something's going to work a little better, faster, and we'll try it out. So a week later, I called him up. He goes, uh, how fast can you get some product down here? <laughs> yeah, I tell you, we, we don't sell anything here that we don't use. You know, we have over 60 rental guns. Uh, we do a lot of smithing and armor type work for right. uh, for uh, a lot of our customers, and we don't sell anything that we don't use. Right. And we love the aim. You uh -huh. know, the first time we got, it, we said, you know what? Everybody in the gun world knows changing sights on a Springfield XD, it's a bear. Yeah. Those things, they're a bear. They're a pain. Uh, it's easy to ruin a set of sights. Yeah. Uh, we put a little aim on those sights. Let them sit. Little aim lube. Uh, lubed up the air before it is, and changing them became instantaneously better. It right. was, you know, uh, because we, you know, if you buy sites here, we change them for free. Right. And if we mess them up, then we eat it, you <laughs> right. know. Uh, you and don't want to be doing that. Right, absolutely. Not only that, but if it takes us uh, an exorbitant amount of time, then we're losing money by doing that. Of course. But AIM changed all that. Right. And so now we're, so now it, it makes makes it just like changing any other site, like on a SIG or anything like, like that. We like it a lot. Uh, something my personal favorite is the pinpoint applicator that's on here. Uh, right. Makes it easy to get in those tiny spaces. And most of the time you don't need much, you don't need much product, you, Yeah, right? you, you don't need, need a, a tiny amount. Yeah, you don't need a lot. So, you know, yeah. but this gets it where all those marrying surfaces that, you know, so you don't have right. to take every pin and screw out. You can reach down there in those marrying surfaces where the you know metal is on metal, right. and put just enough that you need on there without you know you, the gun's not getting your hands wet, it's not leaving a residue in your case right. or anything like that. And it's good on all surfaces. Absolutely. It's, it's, it doesn't, I mean, all metals, composites. Um, it's actually a really good wood oil too. So <laughs> <laughs> if you have a wood stock that you want to actually have a nice finish on, hey. Absolutely. I've got I've got furniture guys that love it for that. Oh, is that right? Oh yeah, down in uh, down in Imperial Beach, uh, Jack's Key Shop. The guy that runs it, he okay. buys it by the quart to do furniture. <laughs> oh, okay. Like seriously, he tried it one day. He had this because I guess the the whatever the oil he was using before had a smell. Right. And he thought, huh, it works really good on locks because they were buying it for the locks. Okay. That's why they like the needle tip, right? Right. They put it in a lock. And uh, he tried it. Man, oh man, he just he just loves it for that. So the something else that we like about it is our owners here are very eco-friendly. Yeah. We don't use any type of uh, harmful products on our own guns, on customers' guns, anything right. like that. Nothing that's uh, acidic or abrasive or toxic. Right. And Aim Lube fits all of those things. It's you know planet safe. It's you know you're not right. worried about. It. Of course we use gloves, but it, you know just not to get dirty. But if it right. gets on our skin, gets on our hands. We're not too worried about well, it. Well, Chad was mentioning before that he'd say when he walked into the back room, into the armor room, he'd be like, oh, man, the smell. Like, right. He wanted to get in and get out. Right. And that, that right. is no longer a problem either. Yeah, That's we actually stopped using some, some other products just because of the smell. Yeah. Uh, and AIM, you know, AIM works great. We solved the problem there. You know, one thing i got to check with you guys is I've had, we've had this tested before. Um, when you're using AIM, and we'll talk in a second about the the new 30-year-old Scotch single malt version. Okay. Um, when you're using AIM, uh, you actually get, we've shown that you get better consistency on your target. Okay. On your on your spread. That's one thing AIM will contribute. Because I, I get questions, people say, well, does it make does it, does it make the round faster? Well, we don't get into that whole claim and not claim thing. Right. But one thing we know for sure, if you're using AIM, your accuracy, your your shot, your grouping is going to be much, is going to be measurably more consistent. Well, a clean gun does absolutely. A clean gun, a smooth gun, will be more consistent and hold a tighter group than a gun that has buildup, a right. gun that has carbon in it, uh, anything like that. Especially between the the slide and the frame. You know, right. if, if you get buildup in there or you're not, uh, you don't have uh, good viscosity. 
uh-huh. then you're going to get hang-ups in one shot that you're not going to get in the next. Right. But if you got it nice and clean and smooth with, with the aim lube, it should improve everything. Well, one, one thing that uh, Dale Poling, uh, of elite, owner of Elite, Li- elite Iron, he's ex-military. Uh, he designed suppressors for military and SWAT. Mm-hmm. And one that he was at a shoot a few months ago, I think in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And uh, he took the spray bottle of the AIM and he sprayed four shots into a suppressor. He fired about 370 rounds, took it apart to see how much carbon buildup there was, and he was shocked there was no carbon buildup. Uh, that, that is shocking. Yeah, I've, so, I, uh, I've, I've shot through elite. Uh, elite iron suppressors before. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's good stuff. Yeah, he swears by aim, just so you know. You're, you're in good company. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dale loves our product. So I just wanted to say, so we're just introducing with you guys. Uh, we just brought this in now. This is uh, working with Dale and others. Uh, we've we've changed the formula slightly. Okay. Um, and uh, this the, our original aim formula will penetrate fast. It's actually better for switch swap, swap and sights because this will penetrate a little bit faster. Right. But on the muzzle, this product will last oh, okay. longer, even, even longer than this one. All right. So this is already the industry standard. Right. But we decided we're not going to sit in our laurels. So this is what we call our 30-year single malt scotch version. There you go. All right. So AIM weapons, great CLP. But Joe, I really want to appreciate. I really appreciate your time here. No worries. We appreciate and, you guys uh, coming in and love the product. Love the product. Okay, terrific. So Joe, this is the gun range on Balboa in San Diego. So if you're ever in town, this is the place to come and shoot. We'll find a lane for you. Absolutely. Thanks right. a lot. Hey, and have a great holiday. You too. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks.